Okay, today we're going to look at the Purelator 1 PL30001. So let's get at it. It looks like it's have a metal support. It's supposed to Okay, I'll start off with the box. Pure Later 1 is rated for 10,000 miles. The oil suggestions are high mileage and synthetics. 99% dirt removal. And the filter media is high density synthetic blend. Open them up here. See the date code. There and made in the USA. Got six nice elongated inlet holes. These are nice. I like these elongated ones. It seems like Pure Later makes these kind mostly, but I would think you get a better oil flow. You see a metal inner core with louvers, and it looks like a bypass valve down there. The O-ring gasket is supposed to be coated with PTFE. It's supposed to resist, I guess, heat and oil or heat and chemicals. The outside looks nice. <laughs> uh, it's got a sticker here. This is all one sticker piece. Hey, so let's open her up and see what's inside. Okay, so here she is cut open. It's your base plate. It's your typical base plate. It's got a little weight to it. I counted three three grooves, I guess, in here. And you get your silicone anti drain back valve. Okay, your filter element itself with metal end caps. You can see the lures in there. The metal core. And it's got a string wrapped around. <laughs> you got a metal crimp seam. Your bypass valve, which is... I've got this information from Advanced Auto Parts website. And this is supposed to be set for 8 to 18 PSI, which is quite a range there but that's what it says and I counted 50 pleats some of them are a little spaced here especially near the seam you could have put a few more in here if you ask me but these here look pretty good and the filter width is three and a half well three and a half inches wide I don't know what the filtration number is on. I couldn't find anything about that except for on the box it just says 99% dirt holding capacity. So what does that mean? I don't know. But it's supposed to be a synthetic blend media. It feels good. You know, feels okay. You know, it is an expensive filter. It's $8.99. I say we cut this open and see how long she is. Okay, here she is all laid out. And she's 70 inches. She's 70 and a half inches long. And I forgot to mention the leaf spring. Forgot to mention it has a leaf spring. Stamped spring. I'm not a real fan of these. I'd rather coil spring any day. And I forgot to get the measurements. I got them, but I forgot to tell you what they were. They're, uh, I got like 0 0.3. Well, 
Oh, I gotta get it. Let's see, dude. Well. It's about 0.3 to 0.4. It's, it's kind of kind of thin. Pretty flexible. And let's see. Let me get the measurement on this for a heck of it. Uh, put this. Forty four point two millimeters about inches. One point seven four inches. Never can get this apart. It's on there pretty good. I wanted to see the inside of this bypass valve. Oh, there she is. Let's see if we can see that. Well, that's it right there. Here's all the lures. Now, this one's put together pretty good. Usually these come apart. These usually fall apart pretty easy, but. Hey, that's about it for this filter. I've got another one coming up next Friday. And I'll be cutting open this Purelator Boss. And see what the difference is between this filter and this one. There's a. I think there's a $5 difference in price, the boss being more expensive. And see what the difference is. It's the same, you know, if it's the same cars. So stay tuned for next week and uh, watch the video. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thanks for watching and take care.